the last day of school. <laughs> it's our last day of the season, so we're all very tired, very burnt out, but excited. It's a real tough day in, in a lot of ways in that normally when you work on series and you get to this point, it's just relief. You can't wait to go on break and get out. In the case of this show, everybody loves each other so much and we've had such a wonderful time that there's this sort of post-show depression already setting in and a sadness. Most of us won't see each other for six months. Bald is beautiful. <laughs> Come in in the morning and Donna here takes care of me. Shaves my head. Uh, we laugh a lot. A lot of laughing. And she gives me the hot towel. I do a little Chris walking for her. You know, Donna. A lot of I do that because I listen to her laugh. <laughs> she loves Charles Nelson Riley. Yes. That's right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Every morning. I love Donna's laugh. Come on, Donna, do me the hot towel. Yes, I'm going to. Right no. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh, you're no. So <laughs> That's going to destroy everybody's image of Vic Mackey if I do Charles. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, that's weird. This is going to go right into the microwave. Is there a uh, hot towel setting? Yeah, my, my setting. Donna's setting for the hot towel. It's got a, a minute and a half. This. Wow. All right, honey, throw it on me. Just, you know, go. easy, easy. Right. How's that? Ah! No. Nice. <laughs> he does this kidding. to me every morning. Every morning. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> That's wonderful. And sort of just. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, relief. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. To reveal the head. Oh, wow. I don't know what's the beginning of our last day. This is the last scene me and Chicky have for the season. Together. It's, uh, it's sad. So it's uh, stuff comes out of the pockets, the keys, the thing, someone else will be here. In the last episode, Vic was arrested for a domestic disturbance with his wife. And this is a continuation of that, which is him spending the night in jail. And there's a guy in there named Kumswala. And okay, here we go. And he's going to have a little yeah. talking to with Vic. They're not going to cut for? that out. And it's going to end up um, on the DVD. Jesse? Yes. He's oh, this is for the DVD? Who's Kumswala? This will be at whatever the proper height is. Kaboosh. When he's in, and then kaboosh, and then we'll do this. He's here, kaboosh. Beautiful, awesome. Shane in the background, Walton, you know, somewhere there. Awesome, great. And then we move into the cell. Background, action. Blocking scenes for the shield is, um, is trying to imagine a reality in human behavior. And it's oftentimes why we, we let the actors block it until it feels real and then we work until the entire scene feels real and organic and then figure out how to photograph it. So the camera takes a, a sort of a, a, a secondary posture to the natural blocking of the actors, which is different, very different from other television shows, where oftentimes you'll ask, you'll try and create an artificial reason, hoping it'll feel real to the actors, to get them to move in a particular way to facilitate the camera work. On the shield, it's all about naturalness and performance. We went to shooting 16 millimeter film because of the grain quality of it, and also because the cameras are smaller, lighter, and the way we shoot all, all handheld. If it was a if it was a 35 millimeter camera, it would be at least another 30, 40 pounds, and we wouldn't be able to do we wouldn't have the mobility as we do with a 16. So, uh, but also it was grain. It was also image quality. We wanted a grainier, grittier look, a documentary look. If you think documentary, you know that's what we're trying to make it look like. We're like the third man, the fly on the wall reacting to situations that are happening for the first time. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. Bill Gearhart. Look at this kid. And our hey, DP. I'm shooting you. He's on the grayscale. No, that's good. Should I get a knife? Yeah. Ron Schmidt, the DP. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
Hello. Thank Look you. what we have on our lens. Huh? Don't take it off. Can no. you see that? Is it gone? It's gone. What was it? I don't know. Huh? Was it a booger? No. This is the remote follow focus. It turns the lens and the corresponding numbers. But they're also useful with the handheld because we move around so quickly. It's hard sometimes to be right next to the camera where the operator is and do focus on it. Last shot it's from the cell looking out. This will move us to the motor pool. Last shot here. You know, are you sad? Uh, do you, what do you go through when you say goodbye? And this show is so intense uh, that, you know, to do this every day for five months is, at the end of the day, you just have to let it all go. And uh, so this break is needed emotionally on one hand, and then on the other hand, it's, it's very, very sad to, to say goodbye to everybody. Even if it's for three months, it's still sad. We can do, we've done 10 pages, over 10 pages in less than 12 hours before, uh, or definitely within 12 hours, which is pretty good. We're on a seven day episode. Apple 17, take one. Apple 17, we'll get them, thank you. Yeah, I know. Good luck. Jesus Christ, pick that up. Sorry, sorry man, it's strictly for medicinal purposes. Just pick it up. What's going on, on here? Right now. I'm trying to figure out how much pot should fall. This guy has a little uh, baggie of pot that falls out of his pot. That's about an ounce there. We're yeah. trying to figure out uh, what's appropriate. You know, it's always a fine balance between what's real and what will actually show up on screen. So my guess is that we'll fall somewhere in between. And, uh, it can be both for sale, not just for recreation. You can go pick that up. Really? This problem is actually made of wood glue and stuff. Sorry. <laughs> And you put it down in your pocket like this, right. so that when you pull it out, you go like that. To, you know, to open. clean. Yeah. Yeah, that's clean. Nice. What is that there? Oh, it's um, it's um, it's an herb. Good luck. Jesus Christ, Herman, pick that up. Hey, sorry, man. Strictly for medicinal purposes. Pick it up. Current time slot, Tuesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Pacific Time. Second season finale airs April 1st. Current audience, 3.2 million viewers. What it did, established the network as a home for serious fare. A departure uh, from Howard Stern's ra uh, raucously raunchy Son of the Beach. With more movies added to MASH reruns. The uh, channel's rating jumps 57% in prime time. I don't the get 1200 a week, I, I am out of here. I am done. He wants at least $1,100 a week. A week. I'm out of here, man. Yeah. I'm finished. Uh, during the show's first season, and help FX position itself as an edgy programmer between Fox and HBO. What now? What we're trying to do in general is mess with convention. <laughs> Says programming chief Kevin Ryan. That sounds like Ross. Uh, it's a place where broadcasters feel uncomfortable, and quite often nice. those are their biggest hits. How about Pretty that? Cool. Yeah. Huh? Pretty cool. Woo! Not bad. This is the yeah. USA Today. Hey, look at Fred Mercury. What's the deal with that? In this scene, Fred is upset because Lamont sold the pickup truck <laughs> and uh, gave, paid off a little debt he had to Ann Esther.
fired for cause. I've come to really trust the actors and the directors and the crew um, to film the show the way it needs to be filmed. And then I try to mold as much as I can at the beginning of the process and then talking to the director you know, before he starts filming about what I'm looking for in each scene. And then in editing, you know, really trying to sort of capture you know, the best episode I can from the available footage. But there's just not enough time in the day for me to, to spend every waking hour on the set sort of babysitting everyone. And, and when you, you hire a talent people, you got to be prepared to, to let them do their thing. What are you trying to say? This place is better off with him than the three of us? Don't put me in your corner. I didn't deserve what I got. Hey, very nice. Come around. Thanks. I think we're probably a half hour behind. Um, maybe an hour, but we're doing quite well. It's the last day, it's very difficult. We're all having a good time, and we enjoy each other's company, which is part of it. I think that's part of the charm of the show, is that we all enjoy each other's company. The cast enjoys the crew, the crew likewise the cast. Um, we tend to get along, we tend to make jokes at each other's expense. Uh, bend over. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> And action! Three men sent out into the world to kill for no good logical reason. One of them succeeds. But which one? What the hell are you talking about? You and your two friends. You know, one of the things I like most is that we don't have a certain style that we say you have to fit entirely inside this box. You know, we have a general area that we want to land in, but each director comes in and does something a little bit differently. There's, there's some difference between each one, which, which I really appreciate. Think about it. Think about it for a minute. Yeah, think about it. You, okay. Yeah, work, work for it. Because you, cause you don't want to run out of mouth, but you got it. I got you. Yeah, and you know what? And I think this is wrong, but I don't care if it gets all the way out to there. Cool. And see, see how that cool. feels. Cool. Okay, here we go. Sorry, right. we're close. And action. Three men sent out into the world to kill for no good logical reason. One of them succeeds, but which one? What the hell are you talking about? You and your two friends, y'all drew the double three dominoes. We found one on each of you. Two of you didn't kill anyone, but one of you did. I don't know nothing about no killing. Okay, well. We'll see uh, who your two friends point the finger at. Because one of you's got to go to jail. Hang up! See, look, I, I don't want to go to jail. Take that. Hang up! You learn something new every day directing, no matter what material you're directing. I mean, this is the most interesting material because it's character-based. So you have to examine your own feelings about being that character in a given situation to have some empathy, um, you know, towards that character and the, and towards that actor's work, uh, which is fantastic. So the more extreme and unique the circumstances are that the that the that we put our characters in, uh, the more self-examination you have to do. <laughs> Right. <coughs> Action. We got the gun you sh used to shoot the guy with. Uh, it's on its way to ballistics. You're under arrest for the murder of Jeff Franklin. What? what? No, 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 no. Bummer. Bummer. Okay. How, how'd you find my piece? Performances on the shield are about not acting. Um, and that's actually, I think, the, the biggest asset that a director on the shield can have is, is a, an acute barometer uh, of acting. By that I mean, if it feels like acting, if it feels theatrical, if it feels staged, if it feels even remotely dishonest, that's what we need to try and squash. I'm going to just go with it. Bummer. Think bummer the whole time. Nothing but bummer. Okay, good. Those are the marks. Let's talk about how to shoot it. So how are we doing? Where are we? I worked 42 minutes behind. You know, I told him, I said, the shield's going on the rear. Yeah. Quiet, please. Oh. Well, all right, wow. Please come back. As you can see, I have a split uvula. Chicky is great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he really know it's 
Yeah. yeah. You know, I heard it's that. It's actually heart shaped and it's quite lovely, so don't you. Do. Bub himself has that one. You got a good shot of that. Yeah. People think that uh, making television and films is like award shows and uh, galas and sipping champagne and parties, but this is what it really is. 12, 14 hours with people like Dave Clark making fart sounds. It's no joke. <laughs> There you have it. We're set. And action. What's wrong? Maybe uh, Jeff's murder wasn't part of some gangland April Fool's prank. The show differs from other shows in the sense that it doesn't go to the lowest common denominator, and by that I mean where. We go to the broadest audience that you can possibly get so that nothing gets too complicated. They, they ignore that and they assume that the audience is smart enough to catch it or will catch up eventually. And so there are less whites, less blacks and a lot more sort of gray tones to this show. Just once more. <laughs> it's still a created and scripted situation. The actors are saying lines over and over again. They're on a set that's lit. And yet we try to create the case where it feels as if it's happening for the first time. And one of the ways we try and convey that to the audience is by covering, by shooting the shots in a way that's not exactly the same every time. This shot goes like this. Holds into this. Down to this. And this. Yeah. We know we need this. Uh, it's, it's nice in here. You know what I mean? It's way back. Yeah. Like that. I can get this, what do you want to do this? and that. Okay, 54, take five. Back round. Play back. Action. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. If I were to question these men, any idea who I should start with first? Start with number two. And cut. Very nice. Print that, please. And that is a wrap for the season for Miss CCH Power. The hood is coincidental. Believe me, the last thing uh, I thought when I wrote the script was, was that we'd hire someone with a similar look to play the lead. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Set. Got a fender bender right in front of us. Where's witnesses? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what? This Dutch boy can hang out. <laughs> I thought you guys were going to break me. No, you are You're much better than we are, Mike. I went out and I went, yeah, f*** that, f*** it. No, you didn't miss a beat. It's 12 o'clock. We hope to be done by 1. We got this. A little garbage truck scene to do. I'm guessing 127. I think that's close. I was hoping for 115. This will be about half an hour late, over. And that's a record on the good side for Scott It's already done. Be Mark? Action! Here, the last one was here. Here. You find him? Okay, once again, still rolling. I'm gonna shut the door first. Uh, okay. My bad. Good, good, good. Set. Set. And action! You find him? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it before I shut the door. I'm waiting for the door. Yeah, shut the door. <laughs> yeah, shut the door on the line. On the line, yeah. Yeah, make it real. Good place. And still rolling. And action. You find him. I've never enjoyed myself like this, working. Uh, and I usually am a guy who enjoys myself, but this has been a joy every day. Tiring, challenging, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, draining. But just fantastic. About 45 minutes. That means he's stationary. Which means he's doing something. Well, this is mostly unoccupied industrial area. Same type of place as last time. It's gotta be it, man. It's gotta be where the money train's pulling in. It's easy with the pressures of making a TV show to, to be miserable. And I've been very fortunate to, to be involved with writers and directors and producers and actors and crew members. Uh, who, for the most part, make it a, a pretty enjoyable experience. It's no different than any other job. It's it's what you wake up to and 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 go and do, and you have responsibilities. And what I found is is the joy in making the show, and, and the pleasure that comes from sort of telling a story and have people liking it. Right. What uh what are y'all doing in? I can't stay away from this place even on a day off. Uh, maybe two to your work. Here we go. Great. Great. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the season wrap on one Michael Chicklet. Oh. Moments like this are the most satisfying, when, you know, when you feel like you've worked really, really hard all year. And you've, it's a feeling of accomplishment. You feel like, okay, we put another 13 really strong episodes in the can. We did it. We became a closer-knit family. And you know what? We had a lot of laughs, which that's the best part of it. So right now is really satisfying. I can promise you I'll sleep like someone shot me in the head tonight. We're not going to make our my 1:27 a.m. prediction. I'm afraid to say right now. Where are we right now? It's uh, 119. 119. So I'm going to say about two o'clock. The interesting thing is that Scott and I discussed whether we should do this shot or not. And we both acknowledge that this is something that might get cut from the final cut. <laughs> and yet we're all standing out here in the cold for an extra hour just in case we end up liking it. So, we'll just have to see. What a, yeah. what a shield way to finish the season. Yeah. Yeah. Crash! <laughs> Thank you. Hi guys. Are you under my
for occasionally, to me, the unsung hero of this show, Scott Brazil. Hey. Hey. on the best damn crew in LA. Yeah. Yeah.